Hi everyone, um, remember when I promised you that quick fix video? Well, I found an opportunity to do it for you. So I just finished doing her color and there's a link to her color video right here if you wanna watch the whole thing. But I was blow drying it and I found in the back here a little, a couple little bleeders, but honestly, if there's little bleeders in the back of the hair, it's really not that big of a deal because unless they're wearing their hair like parted really tight like that, which I guess in some braids or something that could happen, then they're not ever gonna see it anyway. But I'm gonna show you the spot right here. So you can see this really, really bright top line. So that's where a foil was sitting with some blonde in it, but then the blonde seeped out and actually touched some of the hair that was supposed to stay brown. So you see this section right in here. This is a bleeder. So the roots are brown and then it has this little line of the blonde and then the ends are also brown. So I'm gonna show you how to fix this really quick. And honestly, this is something that I would not have fixed in anyone else, but I was looking for a reason to make this video, so I found the bleeder. If this had been up here in her hair, right here by the top of her face, or anywhere in the part line, it's something that I would definitely fix before I let her leave my salon. But since it's back here, I probably wouldn't have normally fixed this, but since, so I'm gonna tell you, if there's something like this up in the front or around the face or in the part line, this is how you fix it. So you're gonna take that little piece out. Let's even do this one right here because it's on the top of the head. So I'm holding this up and this is probably a level five natural, 5N. So I'm going to mix up in my Shades EQ a 5N with the Shades EQ processing solution. And I only need to do a couple drops of this. You're not coloring hair, you're just, it's gonna be like a Q-tip, dab on that little circle spot and that's it. And you can send them home with it like that and just tell them, say, make sure that when you get home, you spray bottle that little piece out because it needs to process for 15 minutes. Or you can do it right when you're blow drying and you notice it, put the little blob of the color on and um, as soon as you're done processing, then you can probably just take a spray bottle, spray it and wipe it off and it will be fixed. So we're gonna show you how to do that. So um, I just use my little, really like a couple drops. You don't need very much. Just try to estimate how many, it's one to one. The mixing on this is one to one. So if you do like 10 drops of the color, try to match it with 10 drops of the developer. Swish it around in there. You can mix it with a little Q-tip. I needed a Q-tip, but I don't have one. So I'm gonna use, we're going to make a Q-tip with a bobby pin and some cotton. So you're just gonna slide this on and then spin it a little bit until you have a little bit of the Q-tip and then rip it off. Okay, so we just made a little Q-tip really quick because I didn't have one, so. Um, we're gonna mix this up. Okay, so now that we have it mixed up and ready to go, now I'm going to um, section off this piece of hair. So you don't want to have the dark spots happening all over your blonde. So you're just going to be really careful right in here and just kind of dab it on really softly. And try, keep it, try to keep it away from the scalp so that you can just push it onto that little spot. If you see any other little ones, go ahead and just dab them on. And anytime you see those hot spots like that, that's when you know you need to do it. I'm gonna fix this one we originally found down here too because it's pretty obvious. It's that really bright spot right there. So I'm just gonna go through and pull up the brown, put it on with that Q-tip. So yep, let that process 15. It can even go longer. This is only 5% peroxide. It's a deposit only color. It's very, very mild. Do not be afraid of it. It's, it will not be the end of the world if you send them home with it like that even and just say when you get home shower or um, just spray off this little part. You can feel where it is because it's a little bit oily feeling. But I would, I would try to rinse it out for them so they don't feel like they're like, oh great. But sometimes at the end of a color, they need to leave. Maybe they need to go do carpool and they're like, I can't stay 
five, 15 more minutes. I have to leave right now to go pick up my kids. So there are, have been times where I've had to send them out with the color on there still. And I just say, okay, that's fine. Just make sure you get a towel when you get home, spray bottle out like this, blot it, and then you can just blow dry it. And um, I'll show you the end result when that's done processing, but that's it. It's really simple. You just mix up the color that is missing, put it on and process, so. Okay, so this is the after of the fix on the bleeders. Um, they were right in here and they were really, really bright. Now you can still kind of tell where they are if you push the hair down really tight there and there, but it's a lot less noticeable and nobody would ever even know. So that's how it looks when it's dried or done processing. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe to my videos and share it with your friends and like my Facebook page and we'll see you next time, bye.